What is up you guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Ter Fuentes and today's video is gonna be a very quick one. I'm just gonna show you how to add a little bit more movement and dynamic or natural movements into your clips, particularly if you shoot from a tripod. Now, normally I don't have anyone to shoot video with or to shoot video at. So basically uh, I just put my camera and a tripod in the middle of the forest or right here, for example, and I add some movement uh, in post edition. Now the movements that we're gonna add to these clips to make them a bit more dynamic are the simple ones from the panning move to the rotating to zooming in all the way down to using a plugin from Cinecom.net to make sure we have some handheld movement in the shots. Now handheld movement uh, basically gives us that natural look like if someone was shooting uh, holding the camera with a long telephoto lens and you can see a bit of the shakiness in the hands. So let's jump into it guys. So guys here in Premiere Pro I have these clips and as we can see they're very static of just me walking around the forest. The camera doesn't have any movement because the camera was posed on a gorilla pod or on a tripod. So the first effect that we're going to do is just the simple zoom effect now you can do this in every program that you use to edit video you can do this in davinci resolve in final cut in print pro in any program that has keyframes so what we want to do is just activate the time stamping or the toggle animation over here selecting the little watch of the scale and as we can see we've created a keyframe over here in our timeline and the scale is at 100 so what i want to do is a zooming out movement so i'm going to apply a 110 percent of scale as you can see the image really crops in just a bit and I'm gonna go all the way down to the end of a clip and over here I'm gonna select a hundred percent now we can see that another keyframe has been created so what's gonna happen is between these two keyframes the scale will alter now the scale here is 110 and this in this one is a hundred so as we move in through the clip we can see that the scale starts changing until it achieves or it reaches that hundred goal so if we click on the video and play it, we can see there's a slight pulling out of the zooming effect. And that's basically how you can start adding some effects. Now in the next one, here we have this shot of myself just jumping a log. And what we want to do in this one is maybe add some pang effect plus the zooming effect and then some rotating effect. So you can combinate all these effects uh, to your liking. So for example, in this one, I'm gonna add the positioning to add some pang effect, the scale and the rotation. So what I want to do is just scale a bit so I'm going to scale up a bit, just a bit, so when we have that rotation and that panning, we don't lose any information and we don't see any borders of the image right here. So for example here, we can select the scale and now we have these margins to work with. So for example, for the start of the video, I want the video to start from the left and then pan all the way to the right. So I'm going to move the positioning on the horizontal axis all the way down to the border. Remember, I don't want to exceed so we see these black bars in the back, uh, the clipping. So what I want to do is just put it on the border just there. Then what I want to do is go all the way down to the right, to the end of the clip. And here I'm just gonna add another keyframe just by moving the panning effect towards the right, just like that guys. And now we have a panning effect. But again, I want to add a little bit more zoom. So now I'm gonna just zoom in just a bit. And then I'm just gonna rotate the image ever so slightly towards like that. So now if we play the clip, we can see that we have rotation, we have some panning, and also we have some zooming effect in this clip, adding a lot more movement. And basically it looks like if someone was just rotating with the camera in a movement that mimics uh, me just jumping on over the log. So that's a great effect to have with guys. Just gonna play it once again. But then if I want to add a little bit more natural effect to the image, I go to the plugins. Now over in effects, I've already loaded up the fake handheld movement plugin from Cinecom.net. You can find the links down below. They're completely free. And we have two versions. We have the long one and also we have the short one. So um, it's basically the same, just uh, these ones have a little bit more dy dynamism. So you can use them in longer clips, but we have some variations. We have this effect for wide shots or wide angles then we have for telephoto super telephotos and then for normal range so let's see what the super telephoto does with the extreme motion if we just drag it on top of a clip here we can see it really crops in just a bit and then here we can see the movement that adds it's really drastic so but in this case i don't need so much movement guys so what i'm going to do is just control z i'm going to check out the super telephoto zoom and we can see that the movement is a bit more smooth but uh, it just crops in so I'm gonna use the smooth one from the normal one and now we can see that the movement is a lot more natural like if someone was sitting there just holding the camera so how this effect works is basically what we did with the original uh, movements that we already did 
but as we can see over here we have so many keyframes over here in positioning and as we move you can see that the positioning just it's all over the place it moves up and down and that's basically how you can also make this effect manually but i just highly recommend you just to download the plugin and get it all over with so it really adds this natural effect to your videos. Now, I also like to apply this, this effect to drone shots, particularly because it adds a little bit more of an effect like someone was shooting or taping this, the shot from a helicopter using a telephoto lens or something like that. So I'm just gonna drag this effect in this case. Um, maybe you can use a long telephoto, but it, it just adds a bit too much movement into the frame. As we can see, everything is a bit jittery, like if there was a lot of wind. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to go with the normal, the smooth version. And it just adds, uh, if we play it, just adds a little bit of movement, like if someone was shooting from a helicopter with a long telephoto lens, and there was a bit of wind and they didn't have any stabilization with them. So guys, those are some quick tips that I use all the time when I'm shooting by myself with a tripod to make my videos a bit more interesting, a bit more dynamic with some natural movements. Well, fake movements actually, but um, they add some movement so they're not too boring. So remember the presets that we use to edit these um, these things from Cinecom are going to be linked down below. They're free, you can download them. And also guys, the videos that I edited right now, they're edited with my LUT pack, which will be linked down below alongside with my presets and LUT shop if you want to support me. Other than that guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes. Remember to like, subscribe, share it with a friend. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one.